We have a new friend. This is little Rob. <laughs> He's here helping us take off this entire structure. We're gonna tank it off and he's gonna help us sand it. And then, are we gonna leave it or are we gonna paint it? We're gonna paint it. And then we're gonna paint it again. He also helped us totally sand the whaler the other day and he was a big help. So now our whaler is looking nice and shiny. How do you know how to do all this stuff? My dad taught me all how to do it. Do you help him a lot with all yeah. of his projects? And Billy's dad also hires you to what? Mow the lawn, clean his boats. <laughs> we're empty. So, these things are ridiculously heavy. I took one of these off already in the middle and it was heavy. And the whole, f <laughs> it's just so heavy for a boat that's supposed to be really performance oriented and, and pretty light. This is just <clears throat> kind of crazy. So we're happy to get them all these and then come back. Our next step is to take out all of these bolts. First we had to chip off the paint and now Rob is loosening them. Nice. Well, Billy holds it tight from underneath. You got that one all? It's all you could probably just pull it out. And then go for the next one when you're ready. I've never been back there. It's really nice. <laughs> We're picking up some aluminum tubing to kind of recreate our dinghy davits on our solar panel slash radar arch. Uh, Add some more support. Cleaning it up a little bit. That place is huge, huh? How's that? Good. So I brought this aluminum tubing with a design I drew up with some measurements to a local aluminum welder and he welded everything up for me. And you can kind of see the difference of how the dinghy davits are hanging off the back now with this aluminum structure and supported on both sides instead of the bolted on stainless pipes. So we primed the frame with special aluminum primer yesterday, and now this is a regular all grip primer we got from BoatBuilderCentral.com. They've been supplying all of our uh, our supply needs, all fiberglass and paint and everything. Do you smell something? We just finished painting and we only had one minor catastrophe. A little dog poo on the ankle never killed anyone. So we're about done for today. We'll see you guys on the second coat of primer. What's going on you guys? Say hi to, say hi to Paris. My dad's next door neighbor's dog. All right, we're doing a quick sand. So we got some primer on the other day, but we waited too long to reapply another coat of primer before we had to sand it. So you can do it like with the all grip 545 primer, I guess you can reapply without sanding if you do it between 12 and 24 hours. But we waited over 24 hours. We just couldn't get to it and 
So we have to sand it again before we put another coat of primer on, and then we can start with the top coat paint. Um, so we're just gonna give it a real quick sand, just rough everything up a little bit, and get some more primer on. All right, we just got the final coat of paint on this sucker, hopefully. So we did a total of, well we did one coat of aluminum wash primer, two coats of 545 primer, and two coats of top coat, um, all all grip products. And it could be, could do one more coat of top coat. So if it doesn't come out perfect, we might do that, but hopefully this is the last one. We put it on pretty thick, and it looks pretty good, I think. So we're pretty excited to get this thing back on the boat and get our solar panel on it, and finally have some power again. Check it out. All done. Look how smooth it is. So excited, finally. Just doing some primer on our little hatch door things. And, and just starting the next little project, which is, so this is gonna be a little piece of trim on the cabin sides. And I'm just routing out a little groove that's gonna face up and as water rolls off the cabin top, down the cabin sides, it'll catch in this groove, and then run all the way down the groove into a little catchment system I'm gonna make to, to capture the fresh water. Okay guys, today's goal is to get this mounted back on the boat with the solar panel. I'm just trying to line up the panel I'm gonna once I get it lined up I'm gonna screw some holes where the mounts are and then tap them out and we're gonna use a stainless bolt to bolt it on but we're gonna try to isolate it with some Loctite so we're just gonna bolt the whole panel on and then we're gonna take the whole thing off while we transport the structure to the boat and then we're gonna mount the structure on the boat then we're gonna remount the panel back on using Loctite and any isolators we need to use. And a big thank you to our friend Jason. He's also the same person that we did um, the drone filming in the Barry Islands for, but he gave us this new solar panel. Thank you, Jason. Hi. just taping the edges around this structure so that when we caulk underneath it we can use a popsicle stick and scrape a nice clean line around the edge uh, to clean up the caulk and then we take the tape off and it's a nice straight caulk line. So we're using this butyl tape to bed around the heads of the bolts that we're gonna be using. When normally in the past I've used some sort of caulk or like a marine sealant or something, uh, but this is the same stuff that we bedded our windows out of 
and we're just kind of seeing how it is. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it so far, and we just want to, I don't know, try something new. It's really, I think, less messy to work with. It's really easy to work with. A nice thick bead around the base of the head of the bolt. And then when we put the bolt down through the hole, we'll push it straight down. We won't screw the bolt, but we'll screw the nut on to the bolt and it'll just suck it down, compress this butyl tape, and there will be, still be a nice thick bead of butyl tape wherever there's any space around the bolt head. And that bolt head should be sealed for a long time. So.